Hi, my name is Daniel. This is the Crosslink channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to solder um, your 3D print bed um, properly by using a heat gun to um, warm it up before you start soldering. But to do that, you, we are going to build a holder for the heat gun, which is a pretty useful thing. So if you're going to use a heat gun and then do the soldering at the same time, you're going to need somebody else to hold this for you or you need um, a helper tool and we're going to build this helper tool in this video coming up right now. So we're going to start with step one right now. Step one is um, we are going to cut these two pieces of chipboard um, right about here. Um, I measured a distance of 32 centimeters would be fine for me. So it means that at a height of 32 centimeters we will have the, the heat gun mounted. Uh, and the heat gun is going to come through a hole in this top plate. The top plate is then going to be mounted at this height, roundabout, and we're going to have a hole in the middle of this, this top chipboard, uh, and then we're going to stip, stick the heat gun through it. So uh, it's going to be a little bit loud here, so I'm wearing the safety Mickey Mouse ear protectors, and it's going to be a little bit loud now. Pretty good. So now I'm actually ready for step number two, uh, drilling the hole into the top clipboard. Um, to measure out the size of the hole that we need, um, we can use um, a tool that's called a sliding caliper, which is just measuring the distance between these two brackets here. And we're gonna find out how large the hole needs to be at the largest diameter. So the largest diameter here seems to be 6.3 centimeters and there is um, a tool for that. Um, we can look into the box and there's actually one that has 64 millimeters which would be perfect I guess for this kind of job. So I'm now ready to drill. I um, mounted the, the whole driller to my electrical drill machine. Um, I've made a cross here in the middle of the board uh, so just measured this distance here took the middle and I measured this distance here and took the middle and so I could make this cross and then now I'm going to drill the hole just by holding down this board with one hand and then using the uh, drill with the other hand and then just make sure that the drill is not in hammer mode which means uh, it would try to hammer into the board so we are sliding this switch over and it's just in drill mode now we're going to Put this drill in the middle of the cross that we just made and then start with it. Very simple. There we are. Pretty nice hole. So Looks fine. So let's see if the, the heat gun fits through the hole. Ah, perfectly, perfectly. pretty awesome I guess and uh, hopefully works as it looks 
And that's what we are going to do right now. We're going to do some soldering uh, on my 3D printer's uh, heat bed to try it out and to actually fix my 3D printer finally. Okay, so we're ready to go. I've prepared the hot gun. The heat bed is uh, directly underneath. Um, these are the old cables, basically, that I have uh, desoldered already from the board, from, from this uh, hotbed. And what I've done before, before we're going to start soldering, I'm taking this solder paste and I'm rushing it a little bit over the, the pins here uh, to make it, in the end, better result. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to put these cables also a little bit into the solder paste just to be sure that we have enough of it so we get a better result. So I've turned it to around 200 degrees and so we wait now for about two minutes. Okay, so it should be hot enough now, so switching off. Okay, so first of all, I'm pre-tinning the cables a little bit. Um, hope you can see this. Okay. And now we are, uh, yeah, fixing the cables to the bed. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, the result looks pretty fine. I guess uh, the heat gun definitely helped getting the necessary heat onto the pins um, so it doesn't cool down too fast. Um, so, and I guess if you want to build uh, this construction, if you want to build the hot gun uh, helper tool, um, I've put all the materials in a list in the description below this video. Uh, also all the tools that I've used. Uh, so if you want to try it out, uh, go ahead and, and read my description. Um, please comment if you have any suggestions, if you have any problems doing that, uh, building that, if you have any uh, improvements uh, that you would suggest, I would also be very happy if you do a comment below. And yeah, if you want to see uh, more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified uh, every time I post a new video, also hit the bell. So see you next week um, for another video um, where I'm going to show you a few modifications on my 3D printer and some ideas to make it more secure. So see you there. Bye bye. Have a good week.